Defiant Season 2, Episode 9, Paint It From Memory. This was definitely an amazing episode. It added a lot that I wasn't expecting at all. And one of the biggest things was, of course, that Kenya is an indigene. I assume that she was really close to death and someone found her. And she was somehow brought back by like future tech and future science, things like that. But we find out in this episode that she's not human at all. She's really just an indigene covered in like human paint really and she just has specific memories implanted and that caused a certain pattern and they didn't have any real info on Kenya herself so they didn't have the scars that no one was able to find they didn't have any of the other memories that Dr. Hill didn't know about and of course Pottinger didn't know because he wasn't in the he wasn't in defiance during last season so it was an amazing episode it was a real interesting it was a real good mystery episode trying to figure out what exactly is going on and then we find out that Pottinger and the doctor were working together a long time ago during this year gap between uh season one and two and that was really interesting and for some insane reason I don't know how much time had passed but Pottinger clearly wanted to be with um Amanda for a very long time and he thought that that was a great way to do it and that was probably his first step but things kind of went crazy you know too soon and things didn't work out and he thought everyone was dead because the doc thought that everyone was dead and it was just a crazy story at the end of the episode finding out that Pottinger wanted to do this simply so that he could reunite Kenya with Amanda and have Amanda be thankful to him because he liked Amanda a lot and he just wanted her to fall into her, to his arms. And then Kenya would die because she only had a couple of months to live anyway due to the whole indigene reconstruction thing. So once that happened, she would be depressed and she'd fall into his arms even more so. And it's just a crazy story. Like that's, It's weird that he cares so much that he wanted to do something so crazy like that just because he likes Amanda so much. And... I don't know why the doc agreed to do it, but for whatever reason she did, maybe it was to get more money, maybe it was just to help get her out of prison, or maybe something like that, I don't really know, she was clearly out for a time, but it was definitely interesting to find that out, of course, at the end of the episode, we find out uh, who the guy actually was, and I can't think of the older guy's name, but it was his son, who I completely forgot was even alive. I honestly thought both his sons died. Maybe I, I'm just remembering it wrong. But I could have sworn both his sons died and then it was just his daughter. But apparently that's not the case. And he was out and he found out that it was Kenya and he was the one that saved her. And I don't know why he was working with uh, working with them, the Voltanus Collective, but for whatever reason he was. And he ended up saving Kenya's life. He didn't know wasn't actually her but he ended up saving her life and for whatever reason he was kind of holding her hostage I don't know we most likely will get more information out of that as to why he decided to work with terrorists and help like blow up cities and things like that and basically help rescue other people and just crazy stuff like that so I'm excited to see where that storyline takes us but this was definitely an interesting episode it ended really weird because I wasn't expecting Pottinger and the doc to just like break apart this sort of relationship and then the doc she has to like run and she's out of town now in like some old abandoned train yard now so that was really interesting like he was gonna kill her because she told Kenya um his plan so Pottinger tried to kill her so she had to take off of course he tried to kill Kenya so that she wouldn't tell anyone exactly what his plan was and it was just crazy I didn't expect them to I didn't expect that to happen, so now all the focus really is going to be shifted to Kenya, or um, to the doc, because Pottinger did that at the end, of course, to save his own butt and kind of throw the trail off and say, like, hey, it was the doc, she created her using memories and stuff to get close to you and get secret information, so it saves his butt, and we, there was a scene in a preview that we saw, I'm not sure exactly when I first saw it, but it showed Amanda yelling at someone and she was like you killed my sister and I thought that was going to happen in this episode and I thought she was going to say it to the doc because she found out what happened but she still hasn't so in a future episode that's going to happen and it could still be the doc it could be Pottinger it could be both of them because it's you know it could be both of them where she kind of thinks that that's what happened 
or it could be the actual truth where she finds out that it was Fabi Tara and I don't know how she would find that out because the only people that know are Daytac and Fabi so you know they're not really going to tell anybody and I enjoyed their side of the episode too where they were the ones that found out the truth and that could be one way that it does lead back to her where Amanda thinks like what were these sources and then she has to like come up with fake sources on the spot and she won't really know what to say and that could be a reason why uh, Amanda thinks that it was her or realizes that it was her but that was an interesting part of the episode where they were going out and Daytag didn't believe his wife at all he was just thinking like I know you didn't kill her I know you were too weak to do it you just sent her off and then he finds out that she really is dead and it was just an interesting part of the episode because that's when it really led to the part like well if she truly is dead then what exactly happened how is this almost how is this clone walking around and it was cool they kind of mentioned they flew right over but they mentioned the fact that they got all of her dna from the need want so that's how they did it they didn't know that she was really dead no one really knows what happened and that she was murdered so that possible confrontation is still out there but right now all signs are pointing to the dock Fabi is kind of in the clear right now and of course Pottinger saved his own but yet again but it was definitely a great episode it was kind of depressing it kind of sucks that she got reunited Amanda and Kenya got reunited and then Kenya finds out that she's not even human and Amanda has to deal with losing her sister two times over so that really sucks but Kenya does have three months to live maybe more because the doctor did mention that she has a friend who might be able to do something so Kenya could possibly go to that guy and I believe she said in the Bay Area so I'm not entirely sure what that means or like where that would be specifically but Kenya did take a bus to Los Angeles so for anyone who actually does play the Defiance game which I know is really nobody sadly because the game doesn't do great but if for some reason you are playing that game you will come across Indigene Kenya and you'll have her story from the show. So that was one cool thing. And like I said, I don't even, I don't play the game, but I do know like the game takes place in Los Angeles. And so she took, like they had the Golden Gate Bridge and stuff. So it, it was a clear reference. Like, hey, if you play the game, look where this character is going. She's going to be in the area that the game takes place in. So she'll be in the game and some upcoming uh, missions and stuff like that so I thought that was cool to at least mention for anyone who does actually play the game but it was definitely a good episode I'm excited for next week's episode we got a son who's come back who's working with terrorists we got the doc she's off on her own she's been helped by Daytech so he's gonna kind of be using that to his advantage um, I don't know there's a lot of different things coming up uh, Tommy was pretty pissed that was an interesting part of the episode they seem to do that piece by piece in each episode now they haven't really had a big focus on it but Tommy and Nolan kind of having their confrontations I enjoyed that part and you know he punched Nolan and Nolan's like you know that was a free punch I deserve that but if you hit me again I'm gonna have to hit back and they're about to have a real serious moment but I enjoyed that scene uh, we got a little taste of what's happening with Arissa. We see way, way more people than we got to see last episode, basically all gathering together. And based on the preview, that's going to be a huge part of next week's episode. So I'm really excited for that. She even does it to Tommy in next week's episode. So it has me curious as to why it's happening now and why it didn't happen before when she had pretty much every chance to do that to Tommy and Nolan and anyone that she was alone with during this entire season so it makes me wonder what's the selection process or why are certain people chosen and certain people aren't and of course what exactly is going to be happening there are way more people than I was expecting I thought the big group they had in the last episode where they were all by the campfire I thought that was it and then we see just trucks and trucks coming in there are people who are already set up at, by campfires so there are a ton of people who have been infected by this sort of virus type deal but I'm definitely curious as to what's going to happen in next week's episode but definitely a great one uh, sort of sad to see Kenya go we might get her coming back in within the three month span that she uh, has left with her life but I'm excited for her to come back I want to get some more answers know exactly what was happening between Pottinger and the doc what were their like aside from that was that really it like is that the only thing they did where he just wanted to have Amanda fall for him and so he just made her sister like a clone of her sister 
or were they doing more than just that because they went through the trouble of having the weird um bug implant things in their necks and stuff so i feel like they were doing a, at least something on the side that wasn't just hey let's just do this fake mission thing so i can get this girl to fall for me so i feel like there has to be at least i'm hoping that there's at least some other random little side science thing going on there that's technically not good for other people but i'm excited to see what we do, what we get next week and this was a great episode of course comment below let me know what you guys saw this episode your favorite parts your least favorite parts and do you guys think that we're gonna get kenya to come back in the series before her three three month or so lifespan actually runs out and if she does come back what do you guys want to see from that episode if we actually get it comment below let me know and thanks for watching